Balmy days and barbecues. It felt like a final in September, and that's the way the crowd was treating it. I pull power because they're just simply the best, and they rule the world. Oh, the crows for sure. Port not up to it? No, they're crap. <laughs> the traditional pre match build up is important as the contest itself. You need food in your stomach. Beautiful. Some were fired up. No one's relaxing today. Go the crows! Come on, Port Adelaide aggression! Yes! Others a touch underwhelmed and hoping football would be the winner. I'm a power. My wife's a crow. We're supposed to be going away on a holiday. Ideally, we should have left yesterday. <laughs> but she wants revenge for last time. <laughs> Perhaps it was because it was Power's home game, but they were the only ones singing. The Crows a little on the shy side. Hold Owling, 7 Nightly News. It was suggested that Adelaide's mid-season spurt was caused by the shock of losing showdown number one to the Power from Port. Boy, how close they came to losing number two as well. A dreadful start on a gloomy evening saw the power kick five goals to nil in the opening term. At half time, they led by three goals. At three quarter time, by four. It was a slogging last quarter that saw the Crows regain their pride. They would kick four goals and hold the power scoreless. If ever Malcolm Blight had called for an effort, this was it. Ren and Laid. Ren nearly. McLeod with speed. They've got to kick this. He has a kick in it. For Port Adelaide. Wilson over the top. A big fist. Knocked forward by Connell. Diving on it, Wanganeen. Laid. Attempted hack out of there by Rashudo. Ben Hart gets it back to Samson. Little kick has been marked by Bond. If he kicks accurately, the Crows are in front. He's shooting from only 25 metres. And he puts it through. Second goal to Troy Bond. Scoreless so far, Port Adelaide in the last quarter. Well, the last few seconds of play, the kick comes to half back. Marking contest, Ben Hart. Kick forward again by Connell. Mark taken by Vardy. So any chance that Port Adelaide would have of winning this game has been snuffed out by a tremendous effort, character-building effort by the Crows in this last term. Difficult conditions. A chance to extend their lead from one to seven points. Oh. Hit by Vardy. A great goal. That will be it. Second goal to Peter Vardy, seven points to margin now in favour of Adelaide Crows. Jarman, Bond and Vardy, two each, while James, Jarman and Wren did the damage as the Crows moved to top spot on the ladder. I remember walking out at three-quarter time and seeing the scoreboard and we were three goals, five down, and we'd kick four in the second quarter. And I thought, well, all we have to do is stop them from scoring. And I really believe this, that if we could kick four goals, we'd win the game by a point. Now, is it... As it turned out, it took a bit of specialness from uh, Andrew McLeod and Troy Bond to do it for us. So we actually had a bit of a bonus getting over by seven points. Scotty West again, two hand passes in that uh, transition. If there was a late season...